Now, here's the thing is that then later when God creates us, he creates us in his image and we're on the earth and God has done everything for us. He's made this perfect place for us to live. He gave us a helpmate that we can uh, make babies with and have family and we get to be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth and we have fellowship and we get to see God face to face. And then the same exact sin that befell Lucifer he used to actually cause us to sin. He said, uh, if, you, if you eat from this tree of life, you'll become like God. He used that old trick, the same one that he succumbed to, he used that on us. Now, you gotta understand now, when, when we sinned then, when Adam and Eve sinned, you know what those angels were thinking in heaven? Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> that is not gonna bode well for them. I mean, they're, Cause their history, They've seen what a holy God does to sin because a holy God hates sin because he's holy, because he's love. And so when we sinned, oh man, the angels were like, these guys are finished. No hope for them, no future for them. They're gonna have the same punishment. God's gonna wipe them out right away. But what did God do? came down to the earth, he walked in the garden, he called out to Adam and Eve, they were hiding from him because they knew that they had sinned. And instead of killing them, as he should have, I don't say should like I'm telling God what to do, I'm just saying should have according to uh, this understanding of God's holiness. But instead of killing them like he should have, he killed an animal instead in their place took that, the skin of that animal, the, the blood that was shed of that animal, and made clothing for them to cover them and cover their nakedness. But we just read in Hebrews 10.1 that, that that sacrifice for those animals uh, cannot be permanent. It's just a temporary thing that God is saying, I'm going to be patient with you. I, I could and I should just destroy you, punish you, give you the same exact uh, end that these angels that fell did, but I'm gonna have patience with you and I'm gonna create a means by which you can actually have forgiveness. Now, this is the first time the angels ever saw anything like this. They knew of God's holiness. They knew of his righteousness. They knew of his awesome power, but they'd never seen grace before. They'd never seen mercy before because they never needed it. They never saw God stoop down in a way like that and actually serve creation that was lower than him, that was now unholy. They'd never seen it. And so you can imagine now in their, um, I don't know if they have hearts, but, uh, but in their minds, uh, they, they, they stood back and they said, what just happened. God, God is, he, he's, he's, we've never seen this before. And this, this new word entered into their vocabulary, mercy, grace, forgiveness. 